Alrighty, everybody, and welcome back. It is time to get our next match underway. We appreciate your patience. I know it's been a while as we get things moving along, but my name is a 50 and I am joined by my duo, Mr. Matman. It is time to kick off this new Barry versus Buckeye COD game. Buckeye just suffered a round 11 game five loss. Now having to drop down to play Newberry, which, by the way, a team that we said has the potential to make a run in the loser's bracket. But Matt, let's take a look at our maps and modes. Yeah, man, and it's two Mercados right off the bat. Hardpoint S and D. Now we do see that that is going to be Newberry's pick on the Mercado S and D, the El Asilo control. And if we get there, the Hotel S and D. But it does swing through that the Newberry did get good sides. So they've got their first two map picks coming up. In the first three maps, they steal that Mercado S and D away. It could be very, very difficult series for Buckeye Cod. Looking though, if we get there with the Embassy Hardpoint, we know that that one can be a very, very rotational heavy map, and you have to be very, very on top of what you got to do. And then on Hotel S and D, we just saw Ohio State lose to Michigan on that map in a round 11 map five. So that's not what they want to experience heading back into that one. But let's get this loser semis final. Or this loser's bracket run underway. It's Newberry Esports versus Buckeye Cod. Winner goes home. Or sorry, winner winner moves on and loser goes home. All right, well, off the bat, you can see so far Newberry Esports starting things off strong. That's going to be a solid four in the kill feed. Look to lock down some of this P1 time. Buckeye Cod, though, looking to play for the spawns for new. Obviously, we know how influential the spawn game is on this map, especially for that P2 rotation. You can get so much time there. They're trying to do just that, but then at the same time, you can see Newberry making sure to keep back alley on check, lock things down. And now, I mean, the score, though, not very different right now. They both got some, like, little bit of time off that P1, but like you said, it's all about our P2 rotations. We say it every single hardpoint map that P1 always ends up being in the middle of the map. It's always so mixy, and P2 is what you want to focus on. Right now, though, I will say, Newberry looking pretty good at the start of this map, and starting to garner some more time off of this P2. And look at that kill feed, man. Just all white right now. They seem to be firing on all cylinders. You know that Buckeye Cod just went through a cooler, just losing to their arch rivals in Diff, looking to take advantage of maybe the Chalk Mental by just a little bit. And right now, it is Newberry Esports flying. Diff, 5-1. and one. Cell, 6-2. and two. Freaky, 5-1. and one. Everybody on the side of Newberry Esports right now popping off. Newberry, so far so good here over towards P2. Now I got to start putting our heads towards P3, though. Rotation looking to be locked down here towards 10. As you can see, Juice as well cutting off mid now for the side of Buckeye Cod as they look to get a rebound after their last series. It's going to be 10 right now in control of Newberry. If Enigma isn't going to do anything about it, which he does, Buckeye, they are in and here to go. You want to try to get a full 60 here to match that 70 that Newberry has gotten. Now it's all about getting the setup, getting that time going good. Jack looks to watch the left side of the map. Good shots in towards one. Sells the next one up, next one down. Jax making sure to keep this one on lock. It's red through the kill feed. Buckeye looking good. Yeah, they're looking real good here on this P3, and they need to, right? That was such a good hold on P2 by Newberry. Ohio State has to get back into this, and they're finding the kills. Juice with a nice little two-piece through the mid-cut. Don't come through there. You're going to go to the slaughterhouse. And right now, Ohio State... Getting some much, much needed time and some very good time as Diff is just going to go ahead and watch these rotations on through over here to this barbershop P4. Well, Buckeye Cod, so far so good with some of that scrap time, able to really inch up on that scoreline and reduce the margin. Now it's going to be all about that rotation, of course, towards new. Buckeye Cod here, set, ready to go, and Juice as well, frying Ooh. towards the top side going to be Newberry trying to find that entry point but again that back alley so important juice may be a questionable chow out from the top but nonetheless still so far barber a back and forth as Newberry though they do find their way in we'll see if they can lock down the last 50. It's going to be hard though this push from Buckeye is going to come through the front it's going to come fast here freaky the only one left alive he gets taken out almost immediately but sells one two almost a third that would have been unbelievable 
And, but Buckeye Cod does find the break on in. Contested point once again, though. Diff back in. Enigma will have to deal with two inside the point. Deals with one and Diff. Freaky the next man up, but he's going to get the kill. Immediately traded back out by Packin. Buckeye Cod going to try to hold on to this 17 as we already are hitting rotation over here to this P5. Rotation looking to come on in as Buckeye. They look to lock this one down. KB going to drop eventually, though, as Diff now. A big gunfight over towards the hill for Newberry as he looks to try to take this one away. But again, not able to come out on top as Buckeye. They look to have the rotation here. Jack's on time. He was going big in the last series. We'll see if he can do it again now. He looks to figure out how to take control of this game. So far, so good for Buckeyes. They do have that lead. As I say that, though, Newberry is finding their way on in. Enigma, though, a big trade to come through as the rest of the players look to make the approach through the backside. Juice as well, locking down Tin. A massive gunfight from the top accidentally picks up the knife, but now at this point, it's just all about trying to keep another successful 30 seconds on the hill. But as I say that, that's going to be Newberry winning the gunfights, finding their way in. And they do find their way in with about 22 seconds left on hill. So, you know, you got to have to start thinking about those rotations on over to P6. You know, P1 through 25 on this map as we head over. <laughs> and it's been a lot of great action so far. These teams almost even splitting right down the middle right now as we head on to this next hard point. It will be new eSport, Newberry eSports there first. You can see all those white arrows on your minimap already surrounding trophy systems down. They're ready to hold this new point. 56 seconds just popped. Let's see what the break has on in. Enigma trying to find on in. Immediately gets taken out. Freaky takes out two. That's four dead in the feed. Newberry Esports is looking good. So far, so good for Newberry as they get that rotation on lock and good to go. And now at this point, it's going to be all about Buckeye trying to find a way to get on in. Enigma looking to maybe take control of back alley here as... So far, the time, 30 seconds, that's all gone in the favor of Newberry Esports as they continue to make sure all angles and all crosses are covered. KB with good help to do exactly that. 20 seconds left on the hill, going to indicate that we got to move over towards next. It's going to be P6 now in the rotation. Ooh. Heading over towards Taco Truck and... Oh my god, they need to find a way Ooh, to get it. Otherwise, the missile. daggers are going to start to fall in the side of Buckeye. Yeah, Diff secures that cruise missile, 17 and 11 on a six streak right now. Love to see that from him. Freaky and Cells there combining for two. Diff gets taken off of that streak, but look at Freaky already on a five streak, looking to secure his self a cruise missile as well. If he could get that, that'd be two in the back pocket for Newberry. And we saw yesterday how detrimental they can be when you got two in the back pocket. And that is Freaky getting that cruise missile, 19 and nine. Jax as well trying to break on in. And here does come the break though. Newberry Esports trying to get on in, but that's bug. Guy Cod securing that time. 164, 131 contested point right here. Back and forth action. 29 seconds left to go on the hill. Newberry Esports, good time right here. You're really extending that lead. It's going to be that much more difficult for Buckeye Cod to try to find a break on through. Three and a half minutes. Time left on that overall game clock to go, meaning that he's have held some pretty good hills overall. Not a whole lot of contests going through and... I think that is definitely part of the story of Newberry here as they've consistently found a way to get things on lock. And look who we're talking about before this one came in briefly. Uh, Newberry, potential to try to make a run. And this would be another big opening hard point for another big match in order to do that run through the loser's bracket. We'll see how things go as Buckeye Cod looks to find a way to get this one unlocked. But the first step, of course, is going to be getting those spots. Yeah, and right now, Newberry with two cruise missiles, as we said, in the back pocket, Diff already trying to go on another street. Whoa. He's almost hits the fourth. If he had seen Jax below, I think he would have met his maker as well. Diff with a nice three-piece, and now Newberry Esports starting to kind of blow this game a little wide open. The 200-point mark being crept up on ever so slowly. Diff has gone different in this one. 24 and 17, along with Freaky, the main duo, 23 and 11. They're having themselves a game, 14 seconds seconds left on this hill gotta start thinking about rotations you probably should have been thinking about them earlier and you can see that freaky and company for newberry esports already here at this p2 ready to shut down anything that ohio state has coming towards this way 200 point mark about to be crossed oh wow this is wall banging and peacing right now newberry esports is flying 
and the push out is so big it is so hard for buckeye to find their way through but the next hit looking to be inbound kb oh. with the first with the second as well it's gonna be newberry holding things strong buckeye cod though knocking on the front we'll see if they're able to find their way through no kb again denying them entry so far, this has been a very successful P2 on this second set as Enigma may be the next one to take a swing at the point to take a crack at it as Freaky shutting players oh down my God. despite the mantle. One on the outside as well taken care of. The kills are plentiful for Newberry and they can win it on this hill. There is exactly enough time for them to win it. Just a little bit of a contest might throw this off though and I think it might have by just a literally any yeah, second yep. an actual second i don't believe they cannot win it on old anymore it'll have to be this new hill only one second separates newberry esports now and winning this hard point match contested matchup sif goes on diff gets two and wins the game for newberry esports 1-0 up over buckeye cod a beautiful start for Newberry Esports as they look to continue the run. We'll see if this match is going to result in a win for them, but that is definitely one way to kick things off against a likely checked Buckeye Cod team. That is how you want your match to begin. And as we get this next one ready, I mean, KB, that's the guy to take a look at going into this S&D. Obviously, some insane, insane lockdowns as he is just getting everything that he needs to. Freaky as well with the 17 and 11. But Mercado, you can write the first one off the board. Now the next going to be Search and Destroy. Yeah, and this is Buckeye Cod's pick. You know, Ohio State likes this Mercado S&D, but yet, I mean, we've seen how well Mercado seems to play for this Newberry Esports team, and they played it very well right there. Almost a 100-point victory for them in that map one. And you said it before, maybe a likely checked Buckeye Cod. I don't want to speak on the mental of this team. We don't know how the comms are sounding and what they're going through right now, but they just had a round 11 map five loss to their arch rivals to send them down into the losing bracket yeah. and you're playing another match almost 15 20 minutes right after that that is not a lot of time between matches you know in the call of duty league they get hours in between long times to look at vods and stuff these guys are hopping right back into another match after just losing a ruler we don't know what the mental is like over there for the side of newberry though they take st Clair to a map five they end up 3-0ing their next match against illinois sending a really good top 25 team home and now you get to have have another top 25 big team that you could potentially send home right here. Newberry, it was our pick to make the loser's bracket run in the beginning after they lost to St. Clair, and it's proving that way so far. Yeah, and you know, you look at Newberry, I think there's definitely potential for them. Really make a run here, St. Clair, they went the distance with them. And then you also look at the rest of the bracket, you can see how SIUE, yes, they are in that winner's finals, but I mean... I feel like that that is a matchup that Newberry could definitely, definitely win should they meet them in the grands if they were to make this run. I mean, you'll get, you're going to play St. Clair Saints again if you win this because an update, guys, that matchup between St. Clair Saints and Western did end up resulting in a win for St. Clair Saints. Yeah. So if Newberry win this, they will play them again. And, you know, they brought them to that game five the first time. We'll see if they can do it again and this time come out on top. Yeah, I mean, that would be amazing, right? I mean, so many good matches that we've had here and such a good matchup we've got on the docket for you guys right now. Newberry Esports, Buckeye Cod. Like we said, the updates, it will be Michigan going against Southern Illinois, the Cougars, to see who gets that spot in the grand finals. The winner of this match, however... St. Clair Saints lay in the weights, man, and that is not somebody that you want to run into in the loser's bracket, but before we get there, let's hop on Mercado s &D. The nades are flying already, one for each team, and immediately turn this into a 3v3. Yeah, a common characteristic of this map, I feel like. It's always the pre-nades, and that's going to make it a 3v3, as you said, off the bat, as Enigma looks to find another one to switch the favor into his team, but no dice on that. Orange, a dangerous position to be in sometimes as Jax. Now with the sniper, we know what he can do in search and destroy with it. We'll see if he's able to find anything, but KB with the bomb, looking to get this one planted here relatively soon. Definitely scary to plant on this map, though. Lots of open angles. He is going to do it, though, eventually, as Packin, I think, also going to realize that that is the case. Going to be all up to Packin and Jax to get the retake. And a 3v1 now as Jax goes down all up to Packin, and Packin's going to be packing his bags on that round. Newberry Esports up 1-0.
Continuing that dominance from map one in Epiphany, uh, it's just looking like a dejected Buckeyes team right now, right? I mean, we're very early in this series, very early yeah. in this s and I don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but man, we saw the Grueler. It was on stream. We just watched the entire match. They played so well in so many situations, but to give away that many leads, I mean, you're up one map in a series two times, and... You end up tossing your last two maps away to lose it. It's just not the situation you want to go into. Now finding themselves in the loser's bracket. They were the two seed coming into today. We do not know what is going through their heads. And right now, the only thing going through their heads are nades and bullets. Freaky. Going ahead, getting a nade kill. He'll go down to juice, but already another 3v3. Yeah, Newberry now trying to figure out how to compensate. Oh, KD hey, hey. going to draw another blood. That's going to be packing, though, with the immediate response back. Two versus two. Eastside looking to be locked down by Buckeye, but suddenly all up to Juice now in the one versus two as Diff as well towards backside alley. Looking to find something alongside Cells. It's looking like a difficult possible run here, but... Maybe Juice can get something going towards this topside green. The clock, of course, not in your favor. That's going to make things a bit more difficult. As now he's just gonna have to find the kills and know the shots just aren't quite there. And Diff finding another one in that round. Helps out from the backside, wraps through mid. Ends up finding his third kill of the map, puts him up 2-0 right here. And a big position for Newberry, right? They go up 3-0 in this one. I'm looking to take a 2-0 lead in the series overall. I mean, Newberry, they are looking so, so good right now. In a lot of these matches, you know, hot off of that 3-0, beating Illinois and sending them home. And now looking to do the same to Ohio State. Yeah, and now Newberry. I mean, just continuing the momentum, right? You get into this search and destroy feeling good after the first win on the same map. And now Buckeye Cod going to have to find a way to get back into this one. That's Enigma. Position that can definitely be dangerous, but also beneficial as Diff, though gonna draw first blood again for the side of Newberry and this goodness. is what's so influential allowing them to win these rounds is oh getting those first bloods freaky the next one onto Enigma so far Newberry they are steamrolling they are running through Buckeye Cod as so oh the last goodness. one to draw blood from the top side green and that is going to be another easy round for the side of Newberry I mean, it just seems like everywhere these Ohio State players go, they're just running into bullets, and oh my god. Wow. Cells with the spray transfer right there. Those are some snappy shots. Good snap. I yeah, mean, looking like dashy out here. And right now, Newberry Esports is looking dominant. Cells 4-0, Diff 3-0. Combined 7-0 right now. And on the side of Buckeye Cod, no one over two kills right now. It is a rough one. <laughs> Even for getting the bomb in spawn now. I mean, this is just looking like a very dejected Cod team. They're running out and just chowing things. I don't know what is happening right now with the Buckeye Cod, but they have got to get it back right now in another 2v4 situation. Down 3-0. Already down a map in the series in Epiphany. This is just not looking good for the Buckeye boys. No, it is not looking good whatsoever. As Buckeye, again, struggling right now in Search and Destroy, just like they did against University of Michigan. Oh, oh my, my god, what a, a shot from Juice. Angle. What is that? Wow. Juice is able to get that kill somehow. As Packin with the bomb as well, trying to move things over towards that A site, but look at the cross that Newberry has on this. They have it completely unlocked. Oh, Cells that might reveal himself. Gonna be weak. Watch out, tunnel though. You're gonna get chowed out. Newberry, they take it. I mean, Newberry, almost a hundred point victory in the first map, up 4 0 in this map. I just don't know what else to say, man. They look unstoppable. They 3 0 stomp Illinois in their last series and looking to 3 0 stomp Ohio State here in this one. I mean, incredible stuff out of Newberry right now. This loser's bracket run is something to behold and you know they're trying right now epiphany you know they win this series and they get that rematch against the saint Clair saints in the loser semis and I, I think that's exactly what they want they've got their minds focused on that cells is six and oh diff is three and oh kb's three and one freaky's four and four he's just been the man to chow everything right now and 
This uh, cruise missile is already coming out. Freaky's already got Jeez, the first man. blood. This Two dead decimation. for themselves. I think you might as well go ahead and send us to the next map, man. Buckeye Cod looks like they have tapped out the chokehold right now. Too tight to handle. Newberry absolutely dominating Ohio State. I mean, Newberry looking good at the... I mean, they're looking better than the University of Michigan, I, which is saying something. Either that or Buckeye is just having so much trouble themselves, whatever it may be. University of Michigan, they're the ones in the winner's finals in Newberry. They're still fighting for their life in the loser's bracket, so it makes me scared for the rest of the teams down here. But if you write your wrongs against the St. Clair Saints, like I said, and these guys take it, Newberry are going to be a force to be reckoned with. I guarantee it. I mean, they lose their first matchup. I mean, we talked about it all all day long. They shouldn't have been an eighth seed to begin with. They just end up getting stuck in a bad bracket who also had a team that goes 3-0. and It's a very, very tough situation for them. They lose to St. Clair Saints on a map five, who's our number one seed. And now, I mean, they're trying to show why they are a team to be reckoned with. They went 2-1 and one through pools. And now, looking to go undefeated through the loser's bracket right now, up 5-0 on Ohio State, the number 18 team. We gotta remember, Newberry is a Division II team, I'm pretty sure, as well. They are looking to make a statement here today, knocking off big team teams like crazy. I thought Diff might have gotten an assassination there. The bomb does go down for Ohio State, the first plant, I believe, that they have gotten. And the first sign of any success. My goodness, two versus two. Now suddenly Freaky the last man up, but if he clutches this up, it'll be the 6-0 dagger. All on to Freaky. We know what he can do. Five and four right now. Uh, yeah, I was about to say, 19 seconds to defuse players in good spots, and that is going to be Ohio State with their first round win, but even Stowe, it was still a pretty shaky one at that. Kills going both the ways, ends up in a 2v2. They do play it nice. So 5-1 here, but Epiphany, we're still on map point. I mean, I don't think it's going to happen. I'm not even going to say anything. I think that Buckeye <laughs> Cod, at this point, you played that round so close, maybe you get a bit of confidence from that. Like, okay, yeah, we got one. But at this point, Newberry Esports all about closing things out. They're on that attacking side as well, so they're just going to ramp up that aggression, try to find these opening kills as well. Off the bat, Juice the one to be the early chow as Cells, he's going to take him down. And so far, Newberry Esports with the man advantage is going to try to take even more advantage of that. Of course, Packin able to get that trade. But we'll see what Newberry Esports do to try to profit off of it. KB with that bomb inside of bottom green here towards P2. Going to do whatever he can. Dead Silence popped. Opportunity for a play here for Newberry. In the 3v3, 55 seconds left to go. See Diff back there laying down on that taco truck, and it looks like they're planning on wrapping this over to the B side. I'm wondering if number eight, that's Pack, and might decide to maybe peek through mid, maybe look through dark here. Just check the B site just to see if you can find anything. Cell's going to make a shot up towards top. I actually like these shots right here, giving his teammate the free plant, let, just, you know, trying to throw him off with some sound cues here. Cell's gonna get out of there. 42 seconds left. They know that bomb's planted on B. Here comes the fast rotation. Diff trying to hit a few sniper shots. One diving through mid right there. Still in the 3v3. No one down yet. And oh, what a time to reload right there for Diff. That's the cod timing. And Packin's on the defuse right now. Packin is absolutely on the defuse right now. Oh, he might have gotten it. No, Packin gets taken out now in the 2v1. Oh, it's all on to Enigma to defend this bomb it's 18 seconds and oh what a snipe newberry esports takes map two in dominating fashion and finds themselves up 2-0 and one map away from securing a revenge match against the saint Clair saints well diff i mean at this point this is where I really start to highlight the individual level. Look at Cells, 10 and 1. That's a 10.0 OKD in the map number two. You cannot make that up. Newberry absolutely steamrolling right now. As Elisilo is on the cards for the next map. I mean, I, I think this is a 3-0 map if I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I, I could... 
I can't see it going any other way right now, man. This Ohio State team looks absolutely dejected right now, not playing like we've seen them play. And I, I don't know whether to credit this to just the power and the skill of this Newberry roster or if we have to look at what happened in that last map and or that last match against Michigan and that rivalry game and that chance to get to the winner's finals and being, you know, up in that series multiple times being in that mindset we're going on we're going to the winners finals and then just getting it swiped right away from you i mean even in that last map right they're up 4-1 over Michigan and Michigan finds a way to come back tie it 4-4 and then of course you know Michigan down again 5-4 and they win two in a row and end up sending Ohio State down right. here. It's a tough, tough way to lose. And we I don't know how Ohio State's handling it, but from their performance so far, not very good. Yeah, no, not very good. And Ohio State, I mean, again, I'm going to bring up that mental component, right? Because they just suffered a terrible, terrible loss. And now they're having to go back in the blender again. And they... I mean, they're getting blended in the blender like it is bad. So at this point now, you get one round on the board in the search and destroy. You get smoked in the hard point. I don't really know what else to say besides control. It's got to be the turn up of your lifetime if you want to try to stay alive in this tournament. Yeah, I mean, it absolutely has to be a complete 180 from everything that they've been doing so far in this series. They're down 2-0, your back's against the wall. Not only are you only down 2-0, but if you lose this next map, you're going home. There is nothing after this, and it is the loser's bracket. I mean, it's a grueler, man. We know how hard it can be to make a run through this side of the bracket. Newberry Esports trying to be the team to do it. And right now, one map away from securing their rematch game against the St. Clair Saints. Taking a look at this map set one more time. El Asilo coming up next. And if we get there, it'll be Embassy Hardpoint and Hotel S&D. But like we said, I do not think that will be happening. Don't think so either, but hey, don't want to jinx it. We'll see what happens as Newberry Esports, they look to close out their series right here, right now. Okay, Cod, truly, truly in the backseat, feeling the burn, but Enigma does kick off the first kill. Yeah, and that's a good sign for Buckeye Cod, getting that first blood out, but you know, not really telling of anything that could happen. Diff with an immediate trade. 29 to 29, it will be Diff and Newberry Esports that are going to be on the offense side first. A knife kill from KB and a little extra slashes. Looks like he's seen the new Scream movie and a new nade comes over to hit KB right back. That's some immediate karma if I have ever seen it right there. Yeah, Newberry Esports so far just trying to make that approach over towards B. I mean, if you win an attack round on SC low, I swear that has got to be the worst feeling ever if you're on the defensive side of that. And well, already we know how B is so influential in order for that to happen. And Newberry Esports, they're going to lock capped. it down. It's already now it's all going to be about A. You've got two minutes to do it. You can literally kick back and relax. This is where Buckeye Cod, if they lose this defensive round, I mean, truly. Truly, truly in the deepest depths. I mean, it's not going to be good for them. Well, I mean, that's just the problem with El Asilo, right? If you rush that B site early and get kills, I mean, they start spawning on the other side of Narnia. So it's a hard one to defend if you go down that early and already the dominant position to hold a site. Taken away by Diff. Diff trying to take one more. This is a big, big gunfight if he wins this. There's no one at top radio control now for the side of Ohio State. Kills being white in the feed right now. And now you're losing a site. You thought that you might have had a good defensive round here. KB gets taken out and this is juice juice could save the absolute day for ohio state right here his reinforcements do come in Front but side. so do newberry esports oh. and he's baiting people like mike tyson right now and now buckeye cod might have a chance he's trying to do everything that he can but buckeye it is now all about holding strong but the constant pressure from Newberry going to make it more difficult. KB, that's the first kill. Is Diff going to do something towards the front side though? That's the real question. As you can see, the red flow through the feed. Buckeye Cod, so far so good on the defense, but look at Cells making the route through the backside. This is going to be so massive. If you're able to kill oh. top drill, it's going to be big. That's the first one. Now worry about top side red tower. And if you get that one, then I mean, at this point, it's all about just waiting for your team, organizing for that push of playing things careful. But I mean, this is already looking real, real difficult for the side of Buckeye Cod if Newberry are going to be able to even just get a couple of these kills. 
Yeah, but now three dead in the feed there for Buckeye Kai, and they actually take the lives advantage there. Cells gives up that position in the back to try to kill the man coming off of spawn. He does take off Enigma off the point, so 24 seconds left in order for Newberry to get this. You know that they would feel kind of bad giving this round away. KB trying to come in through the back here. 15.9 seconds. They are on the point. They've got to try to stop this juice. Felt like there was one behind them, and there was in the top area. And now trying to come through. Diff with another kill. Freaky and Cells on this point. But Packin rushes in on and gets a kill. Another one for Packin. Almost the third, but not quite. And now progress being had today. That's five ticks. A beautiful nade from Jax. Saves them for just a second, but right back on the point is KB. Right back on. Right back into the action as Buckeye Cod. They try to keep a solid defense off. Cells trying to kick off the big kills, though. We'll see if the Rick. We'll see if he's able to do it. An opportunity oh, lying in front of him. He's able to find them. Now the flood comes through. You've got to come out on top. You got to contest, but you just can't. It is a choke in its simplest form. Newberry Esports, they're gonna take that one. Newberry Esports get the 1-0. Juice came in and gets a two-piece. Tries to get the third, but Freaky... Juice did everything he could, man. He was doing what he could, man. I mean, a valiant, valiant effort and... You cannot doubt this man's abilities whatsoever. An amazing player. 9-5, and five, definitely the leader for this Buckeye team, but there's just nothing that he can do as Newberry steamrolls into that point. And I, I think the thing right now is that Newberry as a full roster is just playing better together than this Ohio State roster. This Ohio State roster looks lost. They look like they don't know what they're doing right now. And honestly, they're just not working together as a team. No, they're really not. And I mean, at this point, Newberry is just going to be all about one more minute to go and you're good to go up 2-0 here in the control and possibly a 3-0 in the control and the series. Love to see his juice again. The guy trying to always do something for this roster. Able to find his way through the backside. Enigma, another big two piece. Top side taken care of. Juice putting in the work. Let's we'll see if that's going to be enough, though. A site occupied by Buckeye right now is maybe Newberry just going to give this one up or maybe one last crack at it. Jack's another big nade kill. A site gone. We'll see how Buckeye is going to decide to take a swing at that B site, but Newberry going to try to keep a solid defense here. And right now, a minute 54, they'll left to work with on this B site. Buckeye Cod's playing pretty well in this round. I like what they're doing here, but now losing a couple of gunfights. That's three dead in the feed. Packing with some beautiful movement right there. I love that out of him. Freaky, though, immediately on the trade. And it's just seeming like it's going everywhere, man, right now. It's back and forth action, and that's what Buckeye needs to do. If they want to have to beat this team, they need to make it mixy, work as a team, secure some of these spawns, maybe even set up the trap if you can. You have to get Newberry spawning out of that that deep, deep A backside if you want a chance at this B site. Newberry Esports looking to make the approach here. On the defense, we'll see Buckeye Cod is going to be able to do the same on the O. As Freaky as well, top side, just making sure to keep things in check. But you can see those Buckeye Cod players kind of so far away. Number six going to get taken down as... 7, 8, and 5. Lining up for a possible push, you're going to wait for the team. But look at KB here hitting the route on through. Could be an important player to pay attention to later on. Could shoot some of these players in the back. That's going to happen. First one taken care of. Does he know one is top white here? Going to have oh, to try to play his life. He's able to get back what in. Diff as well, lining up the kills. Now number eight, the last man up. Taken care of. Seven as well, trying to be the next one up. Try to find one to put on the chopping block. But attacking. I don't know if you're going to be able to find much when you've got all eyes on you from Newberry. This is just looking rough. And I mean, remember, we said they had two minutes to work at that B site. Look at your clock. 21 seconds, just like that. A minute and 40 seconds flies by. And now one last push is all that Ohio State will have. But a three dead here could provide big. But Freaky comes in with the two piece. And now 12 seconds remain. KB cleans up the third. All that's left is Jax. He has to go. He has to go now. He has to touch the point. Four seconds remaining. Three seconds remaining. Two, one. And that will be Newberry esports taking a 2-0 lead in the control one round away from 3-0ing ohio state sending them home and sending themselves into the loser semis against st Clair.
<laughs> I mean, dude, <laughs> this is just so rough out of Ohio State. Buckeye Cod, they just can't get anything going. I think they're just so checked. After losing that round 11, they could have been in the winner's finals right now, but instead, down here in losers, down 2-0 in the control and the series. It's looking like this one is going to be their demise. Just an unfortunate showing out of them, and so much potential just squandered and dwindling away. As we can see right now, Buckeye Cod, they're going to do anything they can to stay alive in this, but what they can do might not be much, especially when Freaky is piecing you like that and already finding his way onto A. I mean, already on to A, this is about to be a tick already in, two more dead in the feed. They're just doing such a beautiful job at everything, right, man? This team is playing on a different level throughout this loser's bracket run right now, and an interesting stat to bring up, Newberry, since losing to St. Clair, has gone on a five-map win streak. Have not lost a map since losing to Newberry. And for the side of Buckeye Cod, ever since going up 2-1 against Michigan, they have now lost four straight maps in a row throughout two series. And I mean, now you see Enigma starting to fry juice the same. That could be big for Buckeye Cod. As they're going to try to do anything they can to keep this one alive and squander the push. But still, I mean, a site locked down, of course. So you have that extra minute to work with. And now Freaky already finding the kills, making that B push. Number five, number seven, the only ones up as they look to be the lone defenders over towards this B site. Sells as well. Ching his way forward. We'll see if he's able to find anything on Overwatch here over towards Alley side. But still Newberry. I mean, they are just making that push move faster than a train. Making their way on over towards that B site carefully. As Buckeye Cod, though, they have made their presence known now. They have that defense. Jackson Pack and able to find two of their own. We'll see how Newberry will maybe decide to hit around here. Drive a dagger into the side of Buckeye oh. Cod and Juice. I mean, going to make sure that that's more difficult said than done. Excuse Beautiful me, place. done than said. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Beautiful plays out of Juice and more as well. He does get traded out there. Or I'm sorry, no, he doesn't. He kills two. Maybe he finally sells to trade him out right here. The reach out. Juice just playing with him, trying to bait him, and he does as well. Juice with the three piece right now, taking all of Newberry Esports to the grave. Oh, all my right. God. Juice is going nuclear. Six streak from him. That's a cruise missile as well. Now, Buckeye Esports, or sorry, Buckeye Cod finally finding some success here in this series, and they're finding it with their backs completely up against the wall. Juice making an amazing play, and Buckeye Cod making. They have just secured themselves around. I mean, the issue though was that Juice is the only one going nuts. Otherwise, this one would be a completely different story. Look at Juice continue to fry as he is doing it all for the squad. One last oh, no. contest comes through. Packin making his way forward, takes care of business, sells. You can't get there in time. And Newberry Esports, they're not going to take that one. Buckeye, they will survive, but of course. Next up, a defensive round for the side of Newberry. And this is where you start to bite your fingernails. It gets a bit scary for Buckeye Cod. But Juice secured a cruise missile, and that is a very, very big thing to have on Ella Cielo in the back pocket. We know that the SAE can't be used, <clears throat> Minnesota Rocker. And so we got to go with the cruise missiles here. But I think Juice might come in big with that cruise missile right here if they have to, because if they don't, they will be getting sent home. Buckeye Cod, all on you. You got to do the difficult. Got to win that attacking round on a CeeLo and Freaky taking you down. Not a good start, but still, you're finding the trades. You're finding your way over towards A and Jax as well towards the top side, trying to maintain a dominance here. Juice, of course, the same. He's able to find his way on over towards that A site, moving his way towards Jim, but Diff is able to shut them oh my down. God. That's three. Freaky lining it up for the fourth. That is a dagger and a half in the side of Buckeye. Cod, now you're gonna have to get out of the trap. Number six does that, but Freaky, of course, right behind him, ready to keep him at bay. And right now, Buckeye Cod trying to find their way on to B here. Look at that mini-map. They've got a couple of arrows over there. A little bit of map control as well. They get a couple of kills right here. This could be very, very dangerous. Diff trying to make his way on in. Does take out one, but that is too dead in the feed. But whoa, Diff gets juiced on right there. <laughs> Juice coming through. 
That's a new one we gotta use, juice on, man. That is juice with a nice <laughs> three piece. 26 and 16, this man is doing everything he can. Hey, yo, Juice doing everything he can, and he's securing the B point as well. 26 and 16, this man is right now, literally putting the entirety of Ohio State on his back. The hometown heroes right now trying to come through, and they do find a couple of more kills. Epiphany, they found their way onto the A site. The cruise missile still in the back pocket. Newberry Esports has got to go, and right now they're getting shredded, but that's going to be three dead in the feed. Newberry taking control right back. Yep, Newberry, this is exactly what they do. They find a way to suppress the efforts, but that B site is gone, and that's what makes it a bit more difficult. As Buckeye Cod, they try to lock this one in. Um, it is such a difficult. Ooh. What is All right, got hit by a stun and killed his teammate, unfortunately. So that's going to make it a bit harder. But still, you find the presence over towards the A site. Newberry, though, they are surrounding you, ready to break their way on in. Cells, the first one to open up the kill. Juice, an instant trade over towards Freaky, though. But you got to take care of the backside. To no avail, you do it. And Jax now dropping on the point. A minute left on the clock. Buckeye, you've got a few more pushes left as Newberry, they just try to take it away here. And it's only one tick that's needed right here for the side of Ohio State. This has got to be a perfect hold for Newberry Esports. One round right here to decide if we continue this series or not. Newberry Esports trying to lock it in here. They are finding the kills right now. Diff in this radio tower is so detrimental. But there's the kill. They kill him off a radio tower. And now they've got to go freaky in. But the teammate gets him. KB takes out packing. 10 to 8 on lives right now. Jax looking to come in here. Trying to see what he can find, but nothing right now. All these players tucked away in corners, and Cells takes him out. He's having a beautiful game himself right now. 28 seconds left. One life separates these two teams, and we will either see Newberry moving on or you or Buckeye Cod forcing this series to continue. 17 seconds left. 14 now for Buckeye Cod to find their way on in. You have to go. Oh, two. The coverage is completely there. That's a big two-piece, though. Can you line it up for the next? Freaky, finding the kills. It's all about staying alive. It's eight seconds left. You just got to clear the point. Freaky, you're here. Juice towards top side tower. But that is not exactly where you need to be. You need Ooh. to help the point. You need to get there. It is maybe one last ditch effort. Jack still up. Oh, the team no, we no. killed his teammate. The team and kill. Cells is on no. KB around the corner. No. And that might have been and the blunder of the game. Newberry, they take it away. They fall back on the crutch of their attack round. They win this one 3-1 and take the series 3-0. Oh my goodness. That is not the way that you want to get sent home right there. For the side of Ohio State, a tough, tough tournament. They played so well throughout of this and two really rough series to have to deal with to get sent home for the side of Newberry Esports. They get the perfect 3-0 victory. They continue that streak that they have been on since losing to St. Clair. Six straight maps, back-to-back 3-0s over top 25 Big Ten teams. That is insanity coming out of Newberry. And now they get their chance to get their revenge against the St. Clair Saints in the losers' semi finals in the winners finals right now michigan southern illinois battling it out this is crazy man i'm losing my voice already this thing is going wild <laughs> all right well it's gonna be the next matchup is the winners finals to find us to figure out who gets into the grants it's gonna be a good one but right now we've got an interview prepped for us for the winner of this match of course newberry trying to make that run in the losers bracket matt i mean what it would be now they're gonna have to play st Clair. if they win against them they do make their way to that elim final where the loser of the winner's final will drop down to play newberry if they are able to win it and you know i i believe matt i think it can definitely definitely happen we'll have to see though i think if new you want me to make a prediction i think that possibly the winner of this next match between newberry and st Clair saints excuse me not our next match of course we'll be heading up to the winners finals but i think that that loser semis could be the winner of our entire tournament man i don't know why Ooh, i just spicy take a spicy take right here, man. St. Clair Saints, they get a tough one against the Cougars, but they have been playing a little rough today versus yesterday. Maybe some easier competition in the pools yesterday than versus today in bracket play. Not sure. I mean, this is Championship Sunday. This is where the best of the best, the top eight teams from our pools got here sent 
And I mean, it's been an amazing day. We'll just have to see who makes that run, who wants this championship at Epiphany. We have got our interview with our Newberry player, and it's going to be our main man, KB. How are you doing today, my brother? I'm doing great. You know, just had a rough first map for me personally. I was like 3 and 21, but now we're hitting the stride and we're playing good. So we're going confident into the next one. I mean, Solid. you say you're having a rough maps, but I mean, you guys are just 3 owing everyone you play in this loser's bracket run. You've knocked off a top 25 team in Illinois and now a top 25 team in Ohio State as well. And not only that, you've 3 owed them both. I mean, ever since losing to St. Clair earlier this morning, it seems like you guys have been on an unbelievable tear. I just want you to like, touch on the mental attitude of you guys, man, Like, because it seems like ever since you guys took that loss, this loser's bracket run has been nothing but cake for you guys. Um, well, we know that we're a talented team, and personally, I've only been playing competitive COD for like four months, so I only started in preseason, so I'm getting up there, and so we know we can win these games. Sometimes, you know, we have rough because we, we're not always on the same page, but today, after that first map, I think we cranked it up a bit, and we're finally hitting that stride. Even in the CCL, sometimes we have some losses that we know we shouldn't have, but hard work and knowing that we're talented enough to go and do it, and we're going to go for this championship here today. Solid. Yeah, I mean, you guys obviously, like, we were talking about the, the run possibility on the broadcast here. And I want to ask you, your next matchup, of course, going to be St. Clair, who Matt mentioned you guys dropped two earlier. You, it was a close game, though, 3-2, of course. What are you guys going to do in order to make it so that you take it away this time? Um, We're playing a whole lot more discipline, and I think they're going to get a different team than they got this morning. So I think... I think we're just going to play the way we keep playing because we're on fire right now. Yeah, I mean, you guys couldn't have hit a stride, I mean, at a better time. I mean, honestly, like, if there's any time to do what you guys are doing, it is in this loser's bracket run. You guys have had back-to-back 3-0s, now going up against the number one seed. Do you have anything left to say before you guys head in to this loser's semifinals? Um, I know we're unranked in the CCO, but I hope today is proving some things to a lot of teams because we're coming in as underdogs and we're going to come out on top, hopefully got a big game here next and we're gonna see how it goes i think we're gonna win and i think it'll be decisive compared to earlier well we'll see how it goes kb thank you very much man i have my eyes on this run we'll see if it ends up happening folks